The book that I'm reviewing for this class was Beautiful Child by Tori Hayden. Um, Tori Hayden has written several books about her experience as a special educator. She worked overseas as well as here in the United States um, from around 1990 to the early 2000s. Um, so she is a qualified person on the subject of special education, as she has lots of, ex lots of experience and had gone through um, college to get her to the place that she was. Um, the theme of the book is, there's several themes of the book. One of the first ones is never to give up on a student. Um, she has, does a really good job persisting and you see that throughout the book with um, almost every student in her classroom. Another theme is that um, you should never give up on a coworker either. So she has a, a struggling relationship with one of her paras in the beginning. Um, and they have some hard conversations and they try to work it out. It doesn't end up working out, but she does never give up. And because of that, their relationship remains strong enough for them both to be helpful within the classroom, um, although they were going through personal struggles. Um, the plot line of the story follows a student named Venus. She is about six years old and comes from a family with um, many, many children. Lots of them, almost all of them, I believe, were receiving special education services when they were in school. Um, it turns out that Venus was the daughter of one of the siblings, not the daughter of the parents. So um, we learned that her mom was really young when she had her. Um, Venus is a selective mute and she does not speak, um, but with persistence, Tori gets her to begin to share. Um, not only is she selective mute, but she almost has like no, um, like no response to anything that happens around her. So she doesn't look at people in the eyes. She won't turn if something makes a loud sound. Um, she won't shake her head. She won't point, none of those things. Um, so it was really hard for Tori to get a feel for what was going on in Venus's life outside of school, as well as for where she sat like academically compared to her peers. So I found this book to be memorable, um, heartbreaking, and I learned a lot from it just from the skills that Tori uses with her students and the ways that she responds to certain events and escalations. Excuse me. Um, I think that my reactions, my like initial reactions to the book were mostly shocked just for how heartbreaking Venus's story is. Um, towards the end, we learn about what goes on at home for Venus and it breaks Tori's heart and when she shares about that, um, it has the same effect on the readers. So some of the issues that the book raises are um, the home life of students, I would say trauma-informed education, um, also talks about um, co-worker issues. So um, the beginning, the para in the beginning, Julie and Tori do not have aligning views on how to um, help students or support students and help them to learn the skills that they're lacking. Um, but some other issues that the book leaves out are um, issues of poverty, issues of race, those um, not so surface level social issues. And let's see, the book affected me in a positive way. I think I learned um, some interesting, like out of the box ideas on how to work with students and with coworkers. Um, my opinions on working with students haven't changed. I think if anything, they've been like, been made even stronger um, to not give up on students and that like the work that you're doing on the day to day, on the day to day basis like does make a difference even though you don't see that difference every single day, but like from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, you'll see those differences. Um, my own course, uh, my own course teaching, um, this book is related in several ways. I have experienced students that, or I've experienced teaching students who have um, had tra traumatic backgrounds and you see lots of those same um, manifestations of like strong emotions by Venus, as I've seen with some of the students that I have had in my class um, during practicum. All right. So I feel like Tori's purpose in writing this book is to um, educate um, up and coming teachers and current teachers on what they can do to be the best for their students. Um, and I think her viewpoint is just like from a really authentic raw perspective from a teacher instead of from like an outsider or an administrator, but somebody who's like experiencing it firsthand. 
And I think that her viewpoint um, like strengthens her her themes and what she's trying to get across to the readers because of how um, she's going through it firsthand. So the main points and situations that Tori shares are her like never ending time that she works with Venus one-on-one -on -one, um, to try and build a relationship with her so that she will begin to communicate um, non-verbally as well as verbally, which eventually she does. Um, Tori also talks about how she handles the, I would, I would say chaos in her classroom. Her students tend to fight a lot. And when two or more students start to fight, then the whole class jumps in, they kind of feed off of one another. Um, I think one of, that's one of like the biggest things that she struggles with. Um, and has to work through during the book. Let's see. Other books that are written about the topic of special education, um, this compares to similarly from those discussions in class, um, a lot of the things that we talk about are Tori's ways of working with students and then also just like the stories of the students and a lot of them are super similar, um, but I have only read books related to special education by Tori Hayden. So I don't really have books outside of that to relate it to. Um, I think the groups of readers that would find this book the most useful are special educators, up and coming special educators, um, as well as anybody who works in education, um, just so that they have that perspective of like what students go through and ways that they can, strategies and skills that they can use to help their students learn the things that they are lacking in. Um, touched on this one already. Yes, Tori has the necessary expertise to write a book on this topic. She has worked in the field for a really long time and she is what I would consider an expert in it. I think Tori was super successful in carrying out the overall purpose of the book. Um, she stays on track of what she's trying to teach the whole way through. She talks about Venus and her experience with the other students, as well as like the subplot line of her working through difficulties with her para. And overall, I would recommend this book to anybody and everybody who's willing to read it. I think that um, not only is the story super touching, but that Tori, um, all books by Tori Hayden give a really good perspective and each one is like unique from the next. So even though you've read one, you haven't read them all and all of them should be read by. Um, anybody who's willing to. All right, thank you.